Hello again and welcome to another RC submarine video. Now the subject of today's video will be this little submarine right here. Well, I say little, but as you can see, it's actually not that small in real life. This is my 135th scale Type 2B German U-boat. And uh, this little boat will be the focus of the next series of uh, build videos or project vlogs as I like to call them. So this submarine was scratch built by myself uh, back in 2017 over the course of approximately, I would say, uh, eight months. So here I'm just giving a quick little walk around or uh, you know, just showing the submarine from various angles. But uh, as I will show you very shortly uh, with some uh, work in progress pictures that I've taken in 2017, All right, so from the pictures that just flashed by, you've probably seen that uh, rather than doing a more uh, classical way of uh, building RC submarines, you know, creating a uh, fiberglass hull from a pair of silicone molds, or even uh, using a foam master model, I've actually gone uh, the completely the opposite way, where uh, I've employed the more, uh, I would say, tr traditional uh, model building, mo model boat building, technique where I actually skin this boat over a uh, over a styrene frame uh, thereby building up the shape uh, section by section and so far it's, it's given me a pretty pretty sturdy hull so uh, the, the styrene that I actually use was actually is, is of a pretty thick variety and uh, so far it, it, it's rock the hull is rock solid so I'm quite happy with the result because you know uh, rather than doing this in fiberglass uh, with styrene is um, uh, it's actually a material that I'm very very familiar with uh, in working. Uh, so it was allowing me to create uh, some very very nice curves there um, that are rep representative of the real boat. And speaking of the real boat, uh, for those of you who aren't well versed in uh, German U-boat history, uh, the Type Two U-boat uh, was essentially a uh, one of the first submarines that were built by the German. Uh, Kriegsmarine, uh, Krie Kriegsmarine Navy uh, after World War One, at the start of World War Two, uh, and they were designed to be uh, rather uh, coastal patrol boats, uh, submarines uh, that would be employed uh, in the areas of the North Sea uh, around the British Isles, even to the north and to the south, uh, as you go into the uh, in English Channel there. So uh, towards the beginning of the war. Uh, Germany started with these little submarines uh, to uh, build up their U-boat fleet. But as the war went on, they rather became uh, training vessels that were used by the U-boat crews uh, to train uh, and uh, get used to the more uh, full-sized and more well-known boats such as the Type 7 uh, that you guys might have heard of uh, from this very famous movie called Das Boat. All right, so um, the Type 2 U-boat was actually uh, eventually shipped by rail. There were a couple of them that were sent to the Black Sea to fight against the Soviet Union back then. And uh, this uh, boat that I've chosen to build, as you can see probably from the nameplate, is the U-21. And uh, she's what you call, uh, you might remember from the beginning of the video, a Type to be. So this is the second sub-variant that was built um, that belongs to the, uh, uh, the Type 2 class of U-boats. Uh, this boat, as you can see, uh, you probably uh, noticed by now, has two noticeable gaps along towards the center section of the hull. And the reason for that is because I've actually built this boat uh, to be... Um, actually can be separated into three main sections. You, you got the bow section, which ends uh, right at the conning tower, and you got the stern section, which starts actually right uh, after the conning tower, with the center section being sort of the core 
uh, of the boat. Uh, so through the, mag through the magic of video e editing, I will get this hull uh, separated into its uh, three respective sections. And I'll show you guys what's going on inside. All right, so here we have the uh, center section of the U-boat. And what you might notice right away is that this entire section is actually built around a series of PVC and ABS pipes that you can find at the plumbing store. Uh, this section in particular was actually built around two pieces of three inch to four inch ABS coupling that I've cemented together to form the, uh, uh, the mid section of the boat. And at either end are uh, two 3.5 inch PVC couplings that are actually uh, epoxied into place. And the idea here was to uh, essentially make a pressure hull, very much like the real uh, Type 2 U-boat, where this entire uh, space here would be a uh, dry space for electronics and the ballast tank. And uh, around this uh, would be the outer skin of the boat. And between the two would be uh, a wet space with uh, water uh, free flowing through. Uh, as you can see, the, the conning tower is attached to the rest of the, uh, uh, the, the, the midsection via these two bulkheads that you see um, on either side of this section. And the sort of the, uh, the, the, uh, the shortcoming that I had with this design was that this whole upper deck here isn't actually removable. Everything is in one spot. It is in one piece. So the, the next step of the build process is actually to get this upper deck uh, separated. I'm gonna take my little razor saw and try to you know get get this bulkhead uh, separated so that I can actually remove the conning tower to punch some holes into the hull uh, to allow water to flow in. And why you might ask is because I do plan on putting a uh, more uh, traditional watertight cylinder inside and this is a, a three inch Lexan, uh, Lexan tube that I'll be using as my uh, watertight cylinder. And up next we've got the bow section of the boat. So if you notice here I actually have to do a bit of repair because a little bit of the uh, front diving plane guard has actually broken off but you know that will be done in time. The bow section of the boat if I were to flip this around, you can see inside that uh, the triple torpedo tubes that are visible right there uh, are actually not filled in. And the reason for that is because I wanted to have uh, actual working torpedoes in this U-boat um, when I built her. So these tubes are actually will be hopefully one day um, capable of firing uh, 135th scale um, torpedoes uh, that will be implemented into the build at some point. And uh, there's really not much to say about this front section. Uh, you can see that this bulkhead connects to the uh, bulkhead that's actually in the center section here, right? So this would be sliding in. And uh, I actually have part of the diving plane linkage. It's too dark to see. But there is a little servo um, a horn that's mated to uh, the rod that runs through uh, this part of the hull uh, for the two uh, diving planes to be actuated. And you know, once this section was mounted to the center section, there was is actually a way to get access inside, and it's actually quite easy. Uh, this entire upper deck here that you see is actually held together with a series of magnets and what I have to do is just simply trying to see if I can do this in one hand but if I lift this up and I slide this deck forward there we go you can see that the whole well actually this section of the upper deck can be taken off and you can see the inside of the hull so the way I would do it in my mind would be to you know connect this section with the center section, uh, bolt up all the hex screws, uh, open the upper deck here to connect the battery, close the upper deck, and then I will be ready to sail. But already you see it's, it's a lot of you know uh, assembly just to get the boat in the water. So one of the things that I would like to do uh, in this build is uh, to uh, mount 
the uh, bow section permanently uh, to the center section of the U-boat. Uh, I actually plan on just gluing these two pieces together so that the two sections would form uh, one entire bow section uh, for the whole U-boat. And with that being said, the stern section right here will be mounted to the watertight cylinder so that this whole stern assembly uh, would then be sliding in and out of the bow section uh, to access the batteries um, every time uh, I want to run the boat. And as you, as you can see, uh, very similar to the way the front top deck was mounted, the, the stern top deck actually also slides out so that I can uh, gain access to the linkages uh, that are inside. And this will make actually uh, uh, hooking up the uh, universal couplers and the uh, uh, rear diving plane and rudder linkages so much easier uh, when um, I actually can access uh, the U-boat from the top deck. So uh, not much to say about the stern section, very similar in construction. Uh, to the front section and obviously these uh, type 2 U-boats never actually had a stern torpedo tube uh, back in the second world war unlike their uh, bigger cousins the type 7 who, who actually had uh, one stern torpedo tube but that's okay for me so as you can see I back then I attempted to uh, weather the boat with some rust streaks and uh, what I uh, try to sort of re replicate uh, uh, water uh, streaking here on the side of the hull. Now in, in my haste in getting this ready for a uh, model competition, I actually kind of screwed up the, the weathering uh, on the side of the hull there. I wanted to use oil paints but back then uh, I didn't have enough time to let the oil paint set so I actually tried to create the water streaking that you see on submarines with a normal acrylic paint and that kind of worked but it also didn't work in a way and uh, the uh, the weathering here is um, I actually it's one of the things that I want to change uh, or redo uh, when uh, I'm almost done uh, the um, this build but you know those things uh, are to be done in time for now uh, the next immediate step as I said is to get that is the center section fixed up and to begin work on uh, designing the internals for the watertight cylinder. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, project overview. You can see I've got the rest of the boat right there. And uh, see you guys in the uh, next few weeks as I post another update for this project. Thank you all and uh, we'll see you very, very soon.